Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Panini Donruss Football. Three box, random team number 12. One spot gets you two, all card ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up. Ooh, double up, ooh, ooh. All 32 are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a three, seven times are names and teams. Two, three, four. Yeah, but I know how to work a calculator though, Rex. Four and a three, seven times. We got Joe down to Nick. Four and a three, seven times. The teams, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I can't math in my head though. Buccaneers down to Texans. All right, Joe with the Buccaneers, Jeremy with my Raiders, Andrew with the Cardinals, Jeremy with the Chiefs, David with the Jets, Jeremy with the Colts, last spot Mojo. I did all this right, right? Four and a three, seven times. Seven, seven. I always like to double check this. Uh, Jeremy Poor with the Colts, Michael with the Broncos, Nicholas with the Bears, Jeremy with the Patriots, Michael with the Cowboys, Karen with the Browns, uh, Roger with the Seahawks, Joe with the Ravens, Michael with the Rams, Roger with the Eagles, Michael with the Commanders, Joe with the Bengals, Michael with the Falcons, David with the Bills, Nick with the Dolphins, David with the Niners, Joe with the Giants, Nick with the Vikings, uh, Joe with the uh, Packers, Allen almost said Joe with the Allen, that doesn't work, Joe with the Packers, Allen with the Lions, David with the Jaguars, Karen with the Saints, Allen with the Chargers, Michael with the Panthers, Joe with the Titans, Andrew with the Steelers, and Nick with the Houston Texans. All right, I will pause the video just for a little bit. These are the final three boxes of the case that we marked up there. Uh, we're going to pause the video, see if there's any trades. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back to the other side of the trade window. Oh, Brock Purdy getting bailed out. He just threw a ball right to the middle of three Lions defenders. There was no Niner there. Was it tipped? I don't think it was. He, he got his hand hit. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, all right. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. His hand hits defender. He was trying to get it over that line defender, but instead it floated right into his hands. But line defender bails him out by doing the blindside block penalty. And now it's first and ten. Niners retain the ball. Or no, oh, so no, they still get the they still get the ball. You're right, yeah. Thank you, Adam. So the interception counts, but then there was the blind side block. Oh no. Joe says your cable TV's on a one play delay. You hear the results of any play sooner from me? Hmm. Joe, you can always press pause on your live stream. Wait like uh I don't know, however many seconds, maybe wait a minute and then unpause it and then we might be right on track. So we can actually do a little little thing right now where I can tell you exactly what's happening and then you can count how many seconds until it happens on your TV and that's how long you'll pause it. They're showing the replay of the most recent play. There's Jared Goff throwing it, there's the catch by Laporta and he just got tackled. Oh yeah, San Francisco is alive, minus 120. Very slight favorite to still win. I guess they still, still are the home team. If I was in Vegas, I might have called that a little too early. Now Vegas still has to make money, Adam. Vegas is, still needs the handle, right? All the books need the handle, so they're just like, yeah, Niners still have a chance, Niners still have a chance. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Keep betting, keep putting money in. Keep putting in money on the Niners as a favorite. All right, first of three, good luck. And we got Kadarius Tony. Champ is here, you might be champ again. Chiefs going to the Super Bowl again. 172 out of 299. 
That'll be for Jeremy and the Chiefs. Wow, another great throw and catch by Goff. Thread the needle there. Right, who? Tony? <laughs> yeah. You know, Kadarius Tony, you might want to limit him during key plays down the stretch. There's Leighton Vander Esch to 50, to 55, his jersey number. Dallas, that's going to be Michael. Wow, and a touchdown. Woo! Jameer Gibbs. Told you the game is over. There's a uh, Michael with Dallas to 3.99. C.D. Lamb. There's Dalton Kincaid. Got C.D. Lamb. Man, and I'm on the I'm on the Niners minus seven. I th I thought I thought this would be a W for them for sure. There he is, Jameer Gibbs, a touchdown in the uh, NFC Championship game. Detroit went to one minus 160. It was just the Niners minus 120 just a bit before. Doesn't seem like much of a favor for 21-7. I guess there still is a lot of time left. A ton of time left. Here's uh, Mingo and Waddle. And there's a Gardner Minshew. We had a 10 out of 10. Didn't we have a 10 out of 10 Gardner Minshew in a completely different break? It's Jeremy and the Colts. Right? In that prison break. Prison box. The wrong Colts QB, as Adam mentioned previously. Yeah, it's Minshew to 10 night. Well, everybody keep getting to those football breaks. I'm pulling those Minshews to 10 left and right. Detroit's pass defense has not been good this year. Yeah, so... We'll, we'll see. Brock Purdy's got to got to start stepping up a little bit here. Although didn't that happen last game for the Niners? Brock Purdy was kind of not so good for three quarters, and then uh, and then he showed up in the fourth quarter. He like showed up when it count when it counts. I guess that's that's all that matters in the end. The W. Stephon Diggs. Ravens are going to have to figure it out. They're going to have to retool and try to figure it out again. Try to get over that hump. Ah, that's a huge difference, huh? The Prism Richardson to 10 sold for 4,000. That Minshew to 10 sold for 60. A little bit of a difference there. <laughs> There's a uh, Mitch Trubisky to 65. It's Michael Mayer. There's an Anthony Richardson rookie card. That's that's who we're looking for, Jeremy. The speedy Trey Tucker for my Raiders. All right, that was box one. Box two. All right, let's see how the Niners respond. 
Brock Purdy threw an interception. That turned into a Lions touchdown pretty quickly. They've got five minutes left in the first half. Brock Purdy with the ball. Let's see what he does. Throws it low. It's McCaffrey. They should do a best of three game playoffs. 60 players on a team, they can do it. I mean, that would take forever. Oh, unless, unless you're saying have them do a game, a game a week. That'd be interesting. But I feel like the NFL Players Association would never agree to it. You would have to have like a hundred person roster too, I think. quality of the NFL would be quite diluted. I mean, it's hard to field 32 good teams, let alone do a, do a series. Although soccer does like home and away games, and then they do the, the, the entire score, the aggregate score, that, that could be interesting. It would make the playoffs take too long, but... Deep pass, but no. Oh, almost caught. But no. Brock pretty got flushed out of the pocket, tried to throw it. And the Niners have to punt it away. Box two. There's Puka Nakua, Hendon Hooker. Hendon Hooker marinating behind Jared Goff right now. What a season for Puka Nakua and the Rams. That'll be for Michael. Old Willie Galt. There's a Gridiron Kings, Anthony Richardson and Isaiah Simmons. Jeremy Port with the Colts. Isaiah Simmons is to 94, 19 out of 94. Andrew with Arizona. A lot of upside for Hendon Hooker. This this is going to be someone to, you know, Allen has Detroit, someone to hold on to. So who knows what they'll do with Jared Goff. Although Jared Goff's looking good, good this season. Save Flowers. Uh, good game for him and also bad. <laughs> Got a got made a great catch for a touchdown early on, but then later gave that away with a fumble in the end zone. Was reaching out to to try to get another touchdown, but ended up fumbling it away. What are the Raiders going to do with Aiden O'Connell? I don't know. I think they have to find an offensive coordinator first. It's been a little quiet on that front, but they got to find an offensive coordinator first. And then I guess they'll all the team will get together and figure out what to do in the quarterback position. Maybe what to do with Josh Jacobs, who was on a one-year franchise tag last year. 14 out of 25 gold die cut for the Raiders. It's for Jeremy Port. And he suggested that uh, if Antonio Pierce was hired as the coach, he may be willing to come back to the Raiders, maybe on a slightly team-friendlier deal. That seemed to be the implication. He didn't say that. But it seemed like if he wasn't hired, he was all but, all but gone from the Raiders. So 
Stefan Diggs. Look at this giant towel the ref has. Is he the, the, the ref that wipes off the, the football, I guess? He's that big old towel. Another Gridiron Kings Hendon Hooker. Another Gardner Minshew, this time to 100. Not the best trifecta on, on one drive, despite a couple of big plays. No, 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 let's see what the Lions are going to do. They can start controlling the game with the running game. Yeah, they're going to keep running the football here. And the Relic, three-color patch, 20 out of 100, all pro kings, Justin Tucker. Who could sing a little bit too, apparently. It's going to go to Joe and the Ravens. Jack Campbell, rated rookie to 100. Another one for Allen in Detroit. Got a rated rookie, Anthony Richardson, and a gold Trey Tucker. Anthony Richardson going to Jeremy Port and the Colt. It's last spot mojo. There's my guy, Trey Tucker. One out of 10. Gold ice in that uh, optic design. Hopefully the new offensive coordinator, whoever that may be, will be able to unlock his speed. Jeremy Port has my Raiders. And got an Aiden O'Connell with you as well. And we got Super Bowl champion autograph, Nick Bolton. 119 out of 299. Chiefs. That'll be for Jeremy Port. Another Anthony Richardson. This time the rookies design. Jeremy and the Colts. Alyssa Milano set up a GoFundMe to raise money for her son's baseball trip. Doesn't sound right. Someone fact check Rex. He's been a little off today. Usually he's off on all this information. I feel like Rex gets like, like three cores of the information right, but then misses like a key point. It'd be like, oh, Alyssa Milano set up a GoFundMe for someone else's son who's like, has cancer and is from a you know, underserved community or something like that. Why would she? Hmm. I'll fact check Rex. <laughs> she did. Yeah, that's a bad look. Not a good look. A 
American Airlines added flight 1989 from Kansas to Vegas before the Super Bowl and a flight 87 for the return after the game. I see what they're doing there. You gotta, gotta get on that hype train. All right, third and final box. We got a CJ Stroud rated rookie card. Nice. That'll be for the Texans, Nicholas. And a Rich Eisen autograph. Nice. For the Jets, that's going to go to David Duffy. Let's fact check this. Is he really a fan of the Jets, Adam? Adam's a Jets fan. I don't have to fact check that. Adam Kupperman, Jets fan. Is Rich Eisen a Jets fan? I mean, allegedly. So there you go, David. He is. All right. There you go. Sam Laporta. Kevin's also confirming that he is. All right. It's Brian Robinson Jr. to 500. Oh, do those actually sell for a decent amount? I imagine they will. I feel like that's... I feel like Donners used to do more fans of the game inserts. And we got more Jets here. We got Passing the Torch. From Joe Namath to Aaron Rodgers. 27 out of 49. It's a little bit of time between uh, a little bit of time between Joe and Aaron. But here's another one for David and the Jets. It's pretty nice. This is pretty cool though. Two color patch there, three color patch here. Not from any specific game or event, but still cool. Oh, maybe not. Last Rich Eyes and Auto sold for $9, all right. That's to 150, Bomb Squad DTR. Karen and the Browns. Will Levis, let's see what they do with him. And a, another gold die cut, three out of 25, Chris Rodriguez Jr. Commanders, that'll be for Michael. The Levis will go to Joe and the Titans. There's a run. They're going to get another tackle for a loss, the Niners are. All right, that makes things interesting. Third down, maybe they'll take another timeout. Try to get the ball back with a little bit of time. Try to sneak in a TD before, uh, or just a score before the half. And I think they get the ball back to start the second half, the Niners do, right? Zach Evans, 48 out of 50. Rated rookie, Donner's Optic format. Rams, that'll be for Michael. Tyree Wilson, who looked better and better with each game. As time went on. There's a Bryce Young. That'll be for Michael in Carolina. 
Third and 18 for the Lions. Goff's gonna throw it. It's a catch, it's a first down and more. Wow, St. Brown. We've got another Anthony Richardson right here. Jeremy Port and the Colts. I feel like we got everything but the autograph, Richardson-wise. There's Jeffrey uh, Simmons, 13 out of 98. Joe with the Titans. And the last stack here, there's Pacheco. We'll see him in the Super Bowl. We've got Jalen Hurts. Eagles are going to retool for next year. Zach Charbonnet is going to have a new coach. And there's Anthony Munoz. Nice for the Bengals. There you have it, folks. 2023 Panini Donners football three-box break in the books. Some fun stuff here. we got that dual relic, the Rich Eisens. We got the Gold Trey Tucker, Justin Tucker, Minshew to 10, and we started off with that Kadarius Tony. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.